Hello, this is Community Business Matters, sponsored by Wisconsin Rapids Community Media. And my name is Carla Lenk, and I'm the Business and Jobs Development Coordinator for North Central Community Action. My co-host is Jesse Austin. Jesse, hi, how are you? Hello, Carla, it's good to see you again for, our, for this new episode. And what do we have here? This is a game board, and this was produced by one of my clients from North Central Community Action Program. Um, I worked with her for quite a while, not to do this, she had this all put together before I even started to work with her. Mm. But she did um, need a loan in order to progress with her business plan. And this is what was accomplished. And my guest today is Joan Marzaka, who was born and raised in Wisconsin Rapids. Joan, hi Joan. Hi. I'm glad hi. you could make it today. Nice. Nice. This is Jesse Austin. Hi, hi Jesse. Good to meet you. So. Uh, so tell us about this game board. Um, I know a little bit about it, a lot about it, but it's changed. Many things have happened in the oh, yes. couple years that yes. uh, we work together, but um, it's all yours now. Okay. First of all, I named it the business Games and Growth. And working with Carla and with the help of the loan, I was able to structure my business. I was able to structure my business. Um, as an LLC. And I want to share just the basic outline because there's a lot of moving parts and pieces. What my service is, is I create and give personal development um, workshops. And this series right here that this is a part of is for women. Um, uh, but instead of standing up front in, in, in a workshop and everyone takes notes and listens, I use the game board and my participants sit around the game board. Mm -hmm. And the cards are not here right now, but as it's played like a Monopoly game, you roll the dice, you move the game piece as however many places, and you draw a card. The card is the workshop topics. And then I have several different different journals. Each of the participants have a timed uh, response time to journal their responses. And I keep it timed because I want to keep that, that level of energy up. And when you're doing personal development, energy can go down and things can get quiet. And, and I need to stay on top of that. So the cards are lighthearted. The gameplay is lighthearted. Um, so basically, I give workshops and I use game boards and fun adventure stories, etc. Where I want this to lead to is to eventually, and this is Carla's direction as I worked with her, <laughs> thank you, to license it to professional organizations such as y that serve women, YWCAs, VAs with women's programs, women's correctional facilities, women's shelters that have follow-up programs. And again, half of what you're hearing is from her direction. Oh. This didn't, I was not born with this information. <laughs> so she's been my mentor for Five years? I, I was looking back and I thought 2011 and that Four actually years. came with SCORE, which I'm a yes. member of. And so Joan had met me in the library okay. and had talked about this and I'm trying to grasp exactly what this is all about. I'm going, this is, I don't understand this at all. <laughs> and so about a year went past mm -hmm. and she called me up and by that time I was working at North Central Community Action so that would have been 2013 we met in the spring okay. and we got together and talked about it and I said oh now I kind of get it mm -hmm. and as we worked it was a year that you did your business plan. It's not easy to do a business plan, especially mm -hmm. when I keep interrupting her and saying, no, you have to, <laughs> you have to do get this. back you online here this. and do this and do this. Um, but she had a magnificent business plan. She did get her loan. There was no question. The loan committee was absolutely enthralled with mm. the game. And she did focus groups. She did all wow. kinds of oh. things. So as, you, as a marketer, you know, Indeed. You, you have to do this, both men and women. So, um, so, and when in the purpose in the the process of playing this game or participating in, in one of your workshops, 
what direction do you want these individuals to be going? You know, what where what destination do you want them to reach, as it were? Well, it's it's I want to get them where they are right now, and through personal experience. Um, first of all, there's three basically three different kinds of instructors. You've got the in, the expert who has um, <clears throat> the education, the doctorate, the, the degrees, and they stand up front and they teach. That's you. Mm -hmm. They teach. They 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 they're experts in their fields, and I don't fit into that category. Um, then there is one who will take you by the hand and say, "Go on the journey with me." And those are support groups. Those are um, addiction groups, getting through AA, uh, loss of loved ones. Let's do this together. And I'm further along in my journey, my own personal journey um, uh, of dealing with abuse and and the 2008 crash of. A financial crash and mm -hmm. and closing the doors of my business it's emotional turmoil mm -hmm. and but I'm further along in the journey so I don't fit as that instructor either then there's the one that I am and that is a guide where I have experienced this this and I want to reach out I can lay out a, a my process, what I've experienced, share with you what I went through, what I did to help me get through it, and what I'm doing now to go further. And so I know what you, that's a tip for your entrepreneurs, that was one of your questions. It's real important to know who you are in your business, especially working with NCCAP, we are, we've had our life cut off at the knees emotionally for some reason or financially when we come to you. And we have to be the strongest that we've ever been at our weakest point mm -hmm. in our life. Mm -hmm. And many are. Um, uh, yes. You know, most of the clients I see have very low credit scores. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, many of them have been in bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't, I want to know what the credit score is, how bad is it, mm -hmm. you know, if you're in the 200s, I don't know if I can drag you up that far, but most of them are in the 500s, and they do want funding. Um, those people that say, well, just start your business, just go ahead and, and everybody will come, you know, if you have a field, you build it and they will come, that doesn't happen right away, especially if you have an idea that you're trying to sell or product or service. It's, it's something else that has to be done. You have to market. Yes. If you don't, if everybody, um, if everything goes well, but you find out that nobody knows about you, how can you sell what you're exactly. doing? Absolutely. So that means money. Mm -hmm. And we went round and round about it. She was more in the, I, if I build the field, they will come. And I kept I saying. I believe. You're right. <laughs> and I'm saying, you know, it, it really, you need to market. And that may not mean advertising so much as going to the different places. Right. And, you know, that costs money too. You Indeed. gas and, you know, staying overnight, your, your hotel and, and um, food costs, all of those things costs money mm -hmm. and how you market your your books and how you market everything that you have mm -hmm. um, so that they remember when they leave that classroom or that conference area they'll remember you mm -hmm. and what you're trying to do and will be inquisitive enough or feel strongly about what you can do for them because it's an internal type of service that you're doing, mm -hmm. that they'll come back, mm -hmm. okay. or they'll mm -hmm. spread the word. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so I was I was fascinated personally uh, by this concept that you have, and it, it's called Rodin. Is, is Rodin? Yeah. Is and it's you spell it as one word R O A D I N. Mm -hmm. And could you go into? I what? love that you're asking me about that because that is such a. a personal off the what have you. Um, Augusta Rodin is, um, he created the sculpture, The Thinker. And I read an article when I was in my teens that, the, that it was the author's take on it that Augusta put the elbow on the opposite knee of the thinker because it is a very <laughs> uncomfortable position. And I believe that we put ourselves into the most un, the most unnatural thing for man is to think, and we put ourselves into horrible situations, and and we beat up on ourselves so badly and to make our lives uncomfortable. So I kept thinking, Rodan, 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 Rodan. I didn't want to use the word journey, the path, and the, you know, and so it just turned into the Rodan. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. So I just play with words a lot. Um, so that's where that came from. Um, I did want to uh, quickly lay out where, be and it is only, I'm totally right hemisphere of the brain. I create, <laughs> I draw, I write. And to sit down and do a business plan was the hardest thing because I had to come down to each detail. Mm. And I get overwhelmed with numbers ledgers. I can do all this and I'm in nirvana, but when it comes to the business plan, et cetera, but what that did is I now have that, use that same process where I have the next five to 10 years of where this will go wow. and how it will go because, because she was so mean to me. <laughs> she was persistent and expected me to be what I could be mm -hmm. and then what I do what I could do. So the first base of the business is using the game board, the journey board, and having my physical one-on-one -on -one, or eight women at a time meetups, using the workbook journal. Um, and where I want that to lead is to licensing it to the professional. And I have to do my workshops to gain, build credibility uh, because I don't have the masters, et cetera. And I have no problem with that. I, I'm having fun with that. But I want it to happen faster. And so what I decided to do, and I want it done within the next two months, is, um, I'm almost there, is, is, offered online, an automated drip-in once a week membership area mm -hmm. of the same uh, themed workshop. This is the main tool, the main focus on the meetup workshops, mm -hmm. but you know yourself because of your marketing expertise is the online marketing is a completely different beast than reality marketing. I have no email list. I sit down at my typewriter or at my keyboard. Who do I reach? Who do I talk to? So what, and I don't want to create an online community that is addressing um, victims of abuse, um, their anger, their frustration, their, and, and all that turmoil. That's a dark place to be. I'm games, I'm, I'm adventure stories. And so what I decided is, I'm not quite sure about who my target market is, so I thought, I'm gonna do something so they will show me. And so what I did was I created, I do fables, like Aesop's fables, I call them Jonesis fables. <laughs> and I turned this from the main tool into now for online. It is a marketing tool, and that's another tip to entrepreneurs. Just because you've got a doorknob doesn't mean it can't be it's a, a piece of artwork on, on uh, within a frame. It, use your products and your services, get creative with them. Mm -hmm. So here's the main tool for the online. I'm using it as my blog. I'm going to invite people to play free an online game. And it'll be my blog also, my marketing blog. But I still have to get them to there, right? Right. So what I did is when you go on Facebook, you know how the little quizzes go through? Mm -hmm. And what kind of vegetable are you, if you were a vegetable? Um, or what state should you live? That, those goofy little, I found the company that does that. And I created an adventure that if you, one hour, if you sat down and from start to finish, I chopped it into 10 because our attention spans nowadays mm -hmm. are one click away from, no, mm -hmm. this is boring mm -hmm. and they're gone. What I decided is, is you can do them in three to four minutes, and they're little videos of, of the adventure. Something happens to you in each set, uh, each place. It's like the perils of Pauline. And, and <laughs> the whole adventure introduces, I have to remember, I'm marketing, introduces all the different worlds that I have created in this journey board. <clears throat> And what's going to happen is if you're hooked, now Carla, you would read from beginning to end because it's a good story and it hooks you. Um, but at the end, you'd go, Joan, that was a good story. And you wouldn't need, you've got your life where you want it. And, and Jesse hasn't Hopefully. beat up on you or at what have you. You know, you're fine. And so you're good to go. You're going to drop away. I'm qualifying who, and then Indeed. at the end of that, you will, I will offer 
if you want the free online gameplay, sign up here. I'm starting to build the email list. Mm -hmm. and, and But what I've done is I've tightened that description of my target market. Mm -hmm. A little bit more for the free online gameplay and then you'll be at my website you'll see the online membership offer you'll see that I don't want to sell I want to get them caught up and if it feels good they'll keep making their own decision to take another step mm -hmm. I like that yeah. way of selling I think better. in the educational world they call it flipping the classroom where mm -hmm. you get the the student to 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 actually do the self instruction as it were. Yes. There, so instead of you making the effort to go out and and find your customer, the customer actually is coming to you because through self identification, the, yeah. by the way they play, they're playing these games. I like that there's, yes, yeah, so that's exactly what it is, so and it feels good to me, and that's important <laughs> to be a soft sell, or to sell through right. educating, um, and then when it even gets tighter, the market is those who go from enjoying the free online gameplay and the blog, um, to actually signing up to the membership area, and that's where I can go into the membership area and go, oh my gosh, there's my target market. <laughs> Do you see? I qualified Indeed. them. But also I started that process that so many of us need when we are in emotional turmoil of remembering where to reach in within ourselves to make healthy decisions. Mm -hmm. That area is pointed out and it starts to grow through this simple little process of an adventure. And I like that too, because that's what this is all about. Yeah. So, so, you, so you've created a business around this concept and, and I, I just want to have you identify this, is Games and Growth LLC, is that? Games and Growth LLC. LLC. Okay. Yes. And so if, if you're giving the elevator description. If someone you were in an elevator with somebody and they say, Well, what is that? What does that mean? What would you Games say? and Growth LLC, and I needed to bring it right down to I create personal development uh, workshops using games and, and stories. And, and I leave it at that because I would hold them captive in the <laughs> elevator for a very long time explaining. Um, but taking it to that next level, going to online, you know how you have to keep their interest and, and people they say is four to six months and they're done. And I, don't, I want them to stay. So I've created different levels. Collecting information about yourself in one workbook journal is one level. And then you step up into the next level and I won't let them get there until they work their way there. Um, and that's where you start to build your life plan. Mm -hmm. uh, dealing with the financial, the family, the religion, um, all of the aspects mm -hmm. uh, to get uh, healthy. And that's important for women who have gone through abusive relationships and gone through military and coming back in and going, I don't even know who I am anymore right now. And, and even women who are dealing with chronic pain, they have to reinvent themselves every minute of the day just to remove themselves from what they're de uh, dealing with. Mm -hmm. But going from there, I've also created um, the next game board, and that is... Um, this is the life plan. This is the goal setting a game board where you literally set your goal, your intention from your life plan on here. And as you play through, you are working through the process of bringing a goal into fruition. And so that's what that is. The other thing is I really try to use one piece of each thing as much as I can. So this is also an adventure garden walk within the membership site mm -hmm. where you can have individual adventures that deal with depression or loss of a loved one. Why people use healing gardens. The other thing is, and this is what I want to see eventually, is this is an actual two scale professional landscape design. One inch equals 10 feet. It's a healing garden for a community um, that's a little bit bigger than a football field. Mm -hmm. And I, and so I have the actual blueprint <laughs> from it, but then I colored it up to make it into a game board. Mm -hmm. So that healing garden, any landscaper would be able to lay an architectural ruler on here mm -hmm. and be able to install it. It's here. I know, I love that. That is the secret in the game board. Well, the other secret is that you, in your other life, you were a landscaper <laughs> yes. in Minnesota. It, I've gone full circle, haven't I? Um, I landscaped for 26 years, had a landscape business. Mm -hmm. In 2008, while I always wanted to, because of my own experience, 
work with women and help them through a like experience, um, their issues. I let that sit because I was busy landscaping and in 2008 when the economy hit, hit the wall and uh, 25 million plus people came tumbling down uh, at so many different levels. I was one of them, mm -hmm. and I was also one of those that wrapped, built my personal identity around all outward things, what my job was, what kind of money I had, what kind of house I lived in, what I filled that house in, uh, up with, what I did for entertainment, all outside things. When my life, I call it crashed, um, and it's a gift now, but it wasn't then, and I don't want to go through it again, but when it did, I felt as though I'd lost everything and I didn't even know who I was. If I wasn't Joan the business owner, or Joan the landscaper, or Joan, you know, who was I? Mm -hmm. And that's where it all came together. You know what, I want to rediscover myself and I don't even have a clue what I want. I always wanted landscaping, I always wanted, you know. So that's how this all came to be. Did that make sense? Oh, yes, it, it certainly does. I just wanted to know, at this time, you, because you are a native of Wisconsin Rapids, right? I am. And at this point, you were living in, in Minnesota. Um, I did 16 years of landscaping here. Mm -hmm. I started when I was oh, 22. Oh, you started And here. when okay. I so went to... the zoo. I did, yes. I love going through town here because there's so many different <laughs> places that I can look and say, oh, I did that, and it's still alive. That's a good sign. <laughs> um, but then I That's did... That's an actual resume piece right there. That you, oh, that you, yeah. Because oh, yeah. it's a delightful yeah. place. Um, and then I went to, uh, and really went commercial when I went over to um, uh, Minnesota uh, for eight years, it was just booming. Mm -hmm. You know how it was just mm -hmm. crazy booming, and then right before it dropped. Yeah. Yes. So how did you? How did you? The paths of you and Carla cross. I would like to. Um, when I I moved back here after I crashed, mm -hmm. and my father was in need of care, and I said, you know what? I need to heal. I need to step out of the world for just a little bit and figure. It, it hit hard. It, it was a very tumultuous time for me. Mm -hmm. So I went to that place that had that unconditional love, and I was needed. I was somebody, and that was my beginning. So, mm -hmm. if you ever do feel that way, another tip. It's a volunteer. Oh my gosh, Help is everything else. they say about it is true. Um, so that's how I came back here, but I'm an entrepreneur. I don't know how to punch in and punch out. I, it's just not there. And so I called SCORE, met with Carla at the um, at Macmillan oh, Library, and that's where I informed her um, because I needed financial, not, I wasn't asking for financial help, I, I know how to go out and get it, but I was just broken at that time. And I didn't have the strength, I didn't have, but I'm still an entrepreneur and I sat with her and it's like in my head I need it now. And I actually, that's when I told her, no, I don't believe that I need a business plan. <laughs> All my <I> head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've learned otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> and she still was my friend. <laughs> and and you do. You do, obviously. You do. So, yeah. But, but I, you, yours was, your business plan was a rather extensive one. I mean, you really wanted to, you, you really, is, from what my understanding of it was, you really wanted to, to a great deal of depth to put that together. You know what I've learned about myself is, it, first of all, I learned to get out of the way, and it, 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 this is very spiritual, and I'm okay with that. I have a higher, higher power, and his name is God, mm -hmm. and i that's part of what you learn here is how much, or, or especially in this one, in the legacy room of the garden, how much are you going to manufacture this and control this on your own, and how much are you going to take if you have a higher power? bring your higher power forward and, and, and say, help me. And how much are you going to hand over? Know where you are, you know, because you do need something bigger than you. Um, but yeah, it, 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 after as I healed, this was created as I healed. Game cards were written as I went through each of the emotions. Books were written and, and it just, and the more I emerged the real me, the more creative and drawing started. And, and now I've got a line of, I think 26 or 27 of the Jonesis fables that I'll just, I'll publish those separately. But they're also part of the membership mm -hmm. uh, site. But you it know, just overflowed. One other thing that I I am not um, 
a psychologist or a psychiatrist. But I do have contacts through working with UW-Whitewater and having my contacts in that academic field. I thought she needed to go into um, what is transactional analysis, what is this, what is that, because she's bordering on this. So I brought up some people uh -huh. from <laughs> universities <laughs> and who oh, have man. all the um, alphabet soup in back of their names. <laughs> And one was a spiritualist who was um, located in Illinois at one of the colleges there. Another one was um, somebody that I had worked with for a long time who also was a grant writer. And so she met with those two people. And then the third person she met with was an, an educator at uw Whitewater School of Education who uses games to teach K through 12 mm -hmm. and beyond. And especially, I was pushing that person also to go into um, working with veterans because that's a non threatening type of thing. You can sit there, you know, and do your thing, but it's also can be directed towards um, finding yourself and giving you situations to work through mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in order to heal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so she was able to talk to, Joan was able to talk to all these people. And I didn't want to be having her in a position where somebody in the audience, or she's doing a presentation saying, you know, well, uh, what is the Johari window? And what is this? And what is that? And, <laughs> and she's going, um, you know. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. she had to get a crash course in some of these psychological and management games. But that's also why it was so important for me to know I am not the expert. I am not the hand holder. I mm -hmm. am the guide sharing my experience. And now I feel free and excited about saying, here's my resource library of professionals and, and, and other people's books. Mm -hmm. And because mm -hmm. don't expect that from me. Mm -hmm. I will give you a, a real <laughs> great ride through a healing through whatever it is and and, and finding yourself and mm -hmm. it's good and and through the testing and through the workshops um, it's it's I'm falling in love with it always always there's and is what's neat is whoever's sitting there who's ever doing it they change the game every time you play the personalities change the game change mm -hmm. the conversation mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. it's it's but and you come out of that saying, what happened? Yeah, right, yeah. Right. And I come out of it learning so much more. Yeah. So would you say that, that overall that, that this particular game and the other, the associated games and, and, and journaling and other aspects of your business, it's, it's kind of the, the road into uh, self-identity or? Uh, oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have the picture with me. Um, the picture I'm going to use that will pop up on Facebook and, and ride through, and if you're interested, you'll click on it, and it'll hold you for however long it holds you. It is. It does talk about um, the woman inside of you is reaching out, and she says, do you remember me? And mm -hmm. stepping into this journey is you reaching in, grabbing her, grasping her by the hand, and saying, yes, mm. I remember you. And it goes from there. So it is. You know what my fullest passion is, my bottom line passion is, is I am, I want to become a very active advocate against adult bullying, the narcissist, the sociopath, the control freaks, or, or whatever the technical word for that is, the people who manipulate other people, mm -hmm. um, and actually the advocates and, and the lambs that almost in a cult-like fashion get, their, get conditioned where their spirit gets put down. Mm -hmm. um, and that's my baby, but I don't want to create that atmosphere, it will be a huge resource on the membership site because that's something I connect to personally. And bullying is very much in the national eye. And by the way, uh, she, is, <laughs> she lives in Minnesota, but she comes back to Wisconsin frequently. Mm -hmm. But she's also multi-state. She's going to be in Arizona in the spring. So, I mean, it's... it's it travels. Oh, it travels. <laughs> in boxes, but it travels. Talk yes. about your journey. Yes. <laughs> well, we're getting close to the end of our time here, so I just wanted to 
thank you because this is the first time I've had an opportunity to meet you, Jones. So yeah. this has been this has been delightful. So if you could tell our audience again the name of your company and where they can find you online. Okay, the name of my company is Games and Growth LLC, um, and you can find me. The website is getting uh, built with the membership site, and so at the beginning of January, you can find me at gamesandgrowth.com. Simple as that, yes. Or you can find that quiz coming down through Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. And yes. then yes. spread it around, you know, with Facebook, that you yes. click on it and then share. Yeah. And yes. uh, it's that's the way it grows. Yeah. Okay. With the, Thank you with, much, Were there any uh, under final thoughts that you had? Um, I think Joan has actually used up all my thoughts at the moment. <laughs> um, I can't think of anything that, that um, she has not touched on as far as her business is concerned. Her challenge is actually extreme. When I saw this and she says, well, I sat a couple of months just creating that. I says, you did this all by yourself. And then we had a whole little discussion on what technology would do to your game. And she said, I don't, nothing can be done with that. And I said, what about the 3D printer? You don't have to do the potatoes anymore. <laughs> Well, There's so much potential. Absolutely. Yes, there is. Congrats. So thank you again, Joan, for joining us. And uh, thank you for, for joining us for, our, for this episode of Community Business Matters. On behalf of my co-host, Carla Lang. Thank Lank, you very much. This is Jesse Austin with Wisconsin Rapids Community Media, and look forward to seeing you next month. <laughs>